Hi guys, my name is Tessa Canzona and today I will be doing a massage for the lovely Karina. And um, I actually work at Lifetime Spines in South Austin if you like this massage and you want to get a massage from me. So today we're going to be focusing on massage for people that are really active, that go to the gym a lot or run a lot and a good way to start any massage is just by gentle rocking kind of warms up all the soft tissue and everything so i'm just gonna start by doing that and as i work my way down i'm gonna start putting some pressure on it bands on the side of the leg right here and just start to bring that release into that tendon. It's the longest tendon in your body. So I'm just gonna keep rocking. And I like to do this a few times, getting into that hip flexor right here. And I'm gonna work my way up that IT band one more time putting a little more pressure. If I feel a lot of tension, sometimes I'll just hold that compression on my T-band. And that IT band attaches right in the hip area. So I like to continue my compressions all the way up into the hip. I'll definitely linger here in that hip area, getting into that attachment in there and the hip flexor. And if people complain of really tight hips, I'll spend a little extra time here. And we're ready to start with just some gentle compressions in the glute area, the low glute. So you want to start right above the hamstring, right in that area right there where it starts. And you want to form your soft fist. I'm just going to work my way up this glute. So I'm starting right here and working my way up. And it's definitely good to check in with your client as you're working. Karina, do you like this pressure? Okay. It's not too much. No, it's not too much. No more? Okay. So working my way all the way up that glute area into the piriformis. Just taking my time with these compressions. Really getting into that muscle. And being careful not to hunch over too much. As a massage therapist, it can be challenging to not hunch over, but it's important to do this in a healthy way for yourself. And there is a little bit of tightness in this piriformis area. So I'm going to stay here a little longer. And I'm going to start to do just the smallest circles. And I'm going to start with just some kneading. And sometimes I'll actually work on bare skin. So with this kneading, you can work over pants or sheet or you can actually work directly on the skin and you can get a little deeper if you work directly on the skin but we can get a lot of movement this way too so i'm going to start kneading so just along that line where we did the compressions i'm just going to start to knead a little bit more so just doing some small circles, getting into that muscle a little more. And it's definitely easier on skin when there's oil and you can actually move your hand more, but this will work too. So 
I'm just gonna keep doing those little circles. And Karina has the most tightness in her piriformis, so I'm just gonna really stay here for a little while. Just doing that kneading. And you can get into the coccyx a little bit so it's right by the tailbone. You can start to do little circles there too. There can be a lot of sensitivity in that area. There's a lot of nerve endings, so you don't want to just jam your hand in right away. I'm just paying attention to how the muscles are responding and I'm just gonna keep doing these small circles. I'm starting to get a little bit of movement in here. And notice if you're fully engaged in what you're doing, it's important to really pay attention because the massage is going to be a lot more effective that way. I'm going to go ahead and do some compressions down the leg. So I'm going to work on Karina's medius muscle right here, and I'm going to do two fists, and I'm just going to work my way down this muscle, doing some compressions. So because Karina is wearing pants, I'm going to really focus on compressions because I'm not going to be able to get oil on her legs. This is great if your boyfriend or girlfriend asks for a massage and you don't have a lot of time. You can just do these compressions and help them out. I know my boyfriend asks for massages all the time. So sometimes I'll just do this for him. And you'll notice that I'm working my way down and back up with these compressions. And when I feel extra tension, I'll just spend a little more time there. And I'll start soft and press a little bit more when I feel tension. It's a good idea to work this outer portion of the leg first before you get into the hamstring here and the IT band, which we're going to work on a little bit later more in depth. So I need to start on this hamstring a little bit more and sometimes you'll have to lift your heels a little. Just getting into the heart of that hamstring and working my way up and you'll notice that my shoulders are starting to creep up by my ears a little so I'm just gonna pay attention to my body too. Remember to breathe. And you can work your way up all the way to the top of the hamstring, right below the glute. And you can actually just turn a little bit and use one hand to get to the very top of it. You can work your way back down. Sometimes there can be a lot of tension in the hamstring, so you really want to take your time. So when you're a really active person, your front side is going to get as tight as your back. So this is a stretch that I'll do for most athletes that I work on. So I'm just going to lift Karina's leg and we're going to get into that quad in the front and just tell me when you feel this, Karina. I'm just going to press my heel down, it's about as far as I can go, can you feel it? I'm just stretching that quad. You want to hold these stretches for 30 seconds. 
can keep pressing. And if your client or whoever you're working on has a lot of tightness, you can just come out for a minute and come back in. You don't want to just jam their leg down. You want to take your time. So I'm just going to press. In doing massage, it is physical, obviously. So as a therapist, you really need to remember to breathe and pace yourself. When I was doing compressions for Karina, I noticed a fair amount of tension in her whole glute. So I'm going to do something called active release. And first I'm just gonna make sure that there's no tension. And you can do that just by doing small circles. And make sure that she's not holding her leg at all. I'm going to place my left hand where my right was. And so along with these compressions, you're actually going to use the leg to get a deeper release. And so I'm just going to press and start to do little circles. This is a great way to get into the glute much deeper than you could otherwise. And as a therapist, it's a constant practice of relaxing my body too. So I'm just gonna keep my shoulders relaxed as I do these active release exercises. And it's important to not get too mechanical when you're doing this. You don't wanna be like, okay, one, two, three. You really wanna be responsive to what's going on in the muscle. So sometimes I'll just jiggle a little bit, sometimes I'll do bigger circles, and the muscle will tell you where it needs more pressure, where it needs more movement. And I'm gonna work my way all the way up where I was doing compressions before. With this active release, you're gonna get more out of doing it in this lower portion of the glute than you will doing it up higher. So I'm gonna just do that one more time because I did feel some tension in here. So Don't be afraid to bring the leg all the way in like this. You don't need to do just tiny circles because that doesn't always work. Sometimes you need to bring the foot in a little more like that. And you can do circles. We're definitely starting to get some movement in here. And I'm just gonna keep working my way up. And I'm moving my hand just slightly so maybe a third of an inch up that glute. Just getting into the muscle a little more. And there's one spot that I'd like to just focus on right in here. And it's at the top of that medius muscle. That area tends to get pretty tight in active people and athletes. Sometimes when that area gets really contracted, really tight, you can feel a sort of numbness down the leg. So if that's you, you probably need to get a massage or at the very least roll out this area with a rolling massage roller. And I'm going to just jiggle a little bit, shake out any tension in there. So now that all of this has been worked on, I'm going to work on this IT band a little bit more. 
And what I'm going to do might be a little intimidating for someone that's never done massage. Um, you can stick with the compressions that we did down the leg if you don't want to bother moving the leg around. So I am going to go ahead and relax your leg, Karina. And I'm going to just bring this knee out like this. This exposes the IT band so that it's easier to uh, work on in a deeper way. If Karina were underneath a sheet and I could get onto her leg, I would use my forearm for this. Instead, I'm gonna do compressions up the leg. Just like when her leg was straight, I'm gonna get in there a little bit deeper. And gonna work my way up. With IT band, you don't want to just jam all of your weight in because it is a very sensitive area in the body and it tends to get pretty tight in active people. And I'm just gonna show you so you know what I do when I have access to the leg and somebody's not wearing pants. I use this part of my arm and I actually just move it up that IT band all the way into where it attaches right in the hip and you can even do compressions with that part of your arm. And be sure that you're not hunching over too much. I'm not using my elbow. I'm using that area right above the elbow to press. The elbow can be pretty painful if you just jam that in anywhere. Oh, really taking my time. Getting my way up that leg. And all the way into where it attaches in the hip. And that's enough IT band work for today. Bringing that leg back. I want to do some decompression for Karina's spine. To give Karina decompression in her spine, what you're going to do is plant your feet. It's really important because the leg is heavy relative to what you're doing. You want to keep an arch in your low back and like you're lifting a box or anything else, you want to keep it in your leg. So I'm just gonna make sure that my back feels good. And I actually lean against the table a little bit for this. And I'm just gonna lift and jiggle. And this is gonna stretch out Karina's SI joint, which I'm gonna move to next, and her low back, the vertebrae in her low back. It's actually gonna just stretch those out and the connective tissue is going to stretch a little bit too. And I am just working one side. If you're doing this as a therapist, it's a good idea to work both sides, even if someone complains of tightness or pain in one side. And that area that I was talking about is the SI joint which is right here. This is a perfect time in the massage to work on that a little bit more. When you're active, your hips are gonna get tight. Your SI joint takes the brunt of that. And that's this joint right in here, right above the glute. And I'm just gonna get some oil on here so that I can warm this area up a little bit and 
just going to do a little petrissage, warming up the soft tissue around that joint. And remember to breathe. And I'm getting into that QL muscle that's not far from that side joint as well, that low back. All right, that's nice and warmed up. To get into that SI joint a little bit more, I'm gonna make sure that my arm has oil on it. And I'm actually gonna use my forearm at an angle. And I'm gonna get into that SI joint just by moving my weight in. This is another area that can be pretty tender. You don't want to just jam all of your weight in right away. And I will actually slide. I'll start right about here. And by the time I'm at the top of that movement, I'll be about here with my forearm. And just working my way into that SI joint at an angle. Getting into that glute as well, underneath the SI joint. And I'm just gonna keep doing this. It's good to go nice and slow. And that pressure okay, Karina? And just a little bit longer in that SI joint. Really working through any tension. And if you feel a fair amount of tension, you can actually just hold it. Really pause there. It takes about 10 or 15 seconds with those compressions when there's a lot of tightness. And I'm not just working directly on the SI joint, I'm working around it as well. One more time on that SI joint. And finishing with a little bit of petrissage, working that soft tissue, getting everything moving. And that is it for today. So I just want to thank you for spending this time with me today. I hope you enjoyed this massage and this lesson. If you have any questions or requests, please um, do so down below in the comment section. And please subscribe if you like this video. And I hope that you have a great day. Thank you.